Hi everybody, this is Coach McCurry from Baseball by the R. Today's video tip is actually, actually not a tip, it's more of a rant. Um, there's been something that I have disagreed with when it comes to teaching pitching mechanics that I've disagreed with for a long time. And I really don't get why so many kids are taught to do this. Uh, and when I say so many kids, I mean literally just about every pitching coach that I see talk at seminars and coaching clinics emphasizes this motion and I just don't get it. And the point, the reason why I don't get it is because I personally don't think pitchers actually do this when they throw. So we've all heard, if you've been around pitching instruction, you've all heard of the power position. Sometimes it's referred to as the power T. And it looks something like this. The pitcher gets in his length of his stride, his arms up, and the ball is in this position right here, okay? A lot of coaches will call that the power T. And a lot of coaches that you see talk about pitching mechanics will really emphasize with kids getting the ball up here, pointing that ball towards second base, getting that arm up as they're in that power position. Now, let me show you some pictures, some photos of some major league pitchers. And I want you to try to pick up uh, the difference between what they are doing and the common procedure that is often taught with the hand above the shoulder in that position. All right, welcome back. Now, did you notice anything different that major leaguers do that is different than taking that hand up here. What you probably notice, and if you need to go back, you can check it out, is that in that power position, none of those major league pitchers have their hand up in this position here. Every one of their throwing hands with the ball is in line with their chest. Their front arm is in line with their chest, and the ball is in line with their chest. Some guys will hold it straight back, some will hook it down, some will be here, some will be back here like this. But the point is, every hand is in line with their chest. And that's different than being up here. Now, the reason why I think that it is preferable for guys in that power position to keep their hand in line with their chest is because the chest area is where all our power comes from. If you look at other sports or activities where you have to get the most out of your arms, you're gonna hold your arms or hands at chest level. If I'm gonna throw a javelin, I'm not gonna hold the javelin up here. I'm not gonna get any power. If I'm a boxer, I'm not gonna throw a punch and bring my hand here before I throw the punch. In virtually every sport, if I'm going to utilize my arms, I'm gonna keep my hands and my arms at chest level. So if I'm a javelin thrower, I'm gonna keep the javelin at chest level here to get the most force. If I'm a boxer and I wanna throw the hardest punch I can, I'm gonna pull my hand back and it's gonna be at chest level so that I can open up with the most force and throw the best punch possible. So when it comes to pitching, I think the same rule applies. Why would I take my hand away from that chest position and get into a weaker position? Now, I think something has to do with the definition of the power position. My definition of a power position is the position that the pitcher gets himself in where he has loaded up all his energy that his body is capable of storing and loading up. And then from here, it's just a matter of releasing that energy in order to make the pitch. And in order to store the most energy up, I think that arm has to be in line with the chest uh, so that when I release the throw, then I come up and over and make the pitch. I do not think that the power position where a body has loaded up all its energy it possibly can, I do not think that position is up here. And I think those photographs show that pretty clearly. Now, in other photographs, you will see pitcher's arms in this position here. They do come up into that position. However, it is always after the pitcher starts to open up their front side. 
So the mistake I think we tell kids, and this is my opinion, is that methods and teaching drills that get that arm up here, I think we mistakenly are telling kids that their arm needs to be in this position before they open up to throw. And I don't think that's correct. I think the hands and the arm are going to be in line with the chest, and then when the pitcher has loaded up all its power here, opens up, then the arm comes up into that position. And if you notice for a lot of photographs when pitchers are in this position, you'll notice that the ball is facing where the camera is. It's not facing back here. So it may be facing back here in the power position in chest level, but when the arm comes up, it's facing this way because it's on its path on the way to throw. Well, folks, that's my opinion and you're certainly welcome to disagree with me. And if you think I'm wrong, if you think you have a way of explaining uh, why this is superior to this, certainly let me know. Write a comment, email me, tell me what you think. I'm always open-minded and looking for new things. However, I think it is not a very good idea to be teaching kids to be up in here, because as I said, I don't think that's where the arm is during a proper throwing motion. All right, folks, well, I'm Coach McCreary from Baseball by the Art. Thanks for listening. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day, everybody.